So, people ask me all the time, I want to work on my dink shot, I want to become more consistent. Everybody's shot is, everybody has their issues, right? One of the most common things that I see is too much backswing. So, there's a lot that goes into the fundamentals of, of dinking. When I'm dinking, what I'm thinking about is not using my wrist, swinging from my shoulder, swinging low to high, keeping the paddle out in front, um, lifting that ball up and over, hitting the bottom of the ball. There's a lot of technique things, right? Getting underneath the ball, using my legs a little bit. We can't process more than one thing at a given time. So what I've come up with is one way of fixing a lot of these different issues. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our non-dominant hand, put our finger up, and we're gonna put it at a 90 degree angle where the grip meets the paddle. And now we're going to dink like this. This is going to feel extremely weird at first, but it fixes all of the common dinking problems. When I do this, I can't use my wrist. When I do this, it forces me to get underneath the level of the ball. I can't take a big backswing, right? So this is a great way of limiting motion in our dink shot. And so truly the biggest error I see when dinking is taking a little bit too big of a backswing. When we're only 14 feet away from our opponent, we don't need a big old backswing. It's gonna be impossible for us to really keep this ball in the kitchen consistently. And that's another reason why keeping these hands in close proximity with one another prevents me from taking that big old backswing that crushes our dink technique. In pickleball, less is more. So the simpler we can make a shot, the less moving pieces we can make a shot, the better. And so this is a great tool for simplifying your dink shot. Now, do I actually play pro pickleball like this? No, but take a look. When I'm dinking here, my form looks very similar to when I'm, to how I actually dink, right? This is how I actually dink, and it looks quite similar to this. So dinking with the hands together is a great way of building feel and technique. Make sure to check out the APP Academy if you'd like to learn from me in person or zanenavratilpickleball.com to see my teaching schedule.